Oh, yes. It's gonna be a hard lockout, man. Up and back, up and back, go. Go, go God, go, damn. go. I'm feeling weak just from being sore. Yeah, makes sense. It's okay, it's not like chess is my weak point. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what up? Dr. Mike here for Renaissance Periodization. Jared Feather, IFB Pro, Super Coach. Tristan Lee, mega soccer player, mega influencer, dare I say TikToker. Was that was diss. offensive. That was a that diss. Was a diss. My apologies. <laughs> I have been coaching Tristan here for about two months now. It's been really fun. Uh, he's eating all kinds of carbohydrates and he's training very, very hard. So today we're putting Tristan through a push session. Um, we're gonna be utilizing the RP Hypertrophy app. It's gonna be a good time. You're gonna see all kinds of cool screenshots, cool little features that we might add in there. we we'll have to change out exercises since we're in a new gym, but it'll be good to go since this coach is literally here guiding him through. Like a bird. That goes, biggest bird. Oh, let's get to the workout. More power you need to. I don't know if you like, you know what I mean? Yeah, there you go, jump that <laughs> I want you to do some uh, crab walks. <laughs> yeah, soccer warm up. Yeah, high, high knees. <laughs> Some push ups, warm up. That's what's up. You don't scap stuff. Ooh, like scaps. Cat. Exercise number one is the low incline dumbbell fly. The elbow angle here is something you choose that feels comfortable. Too straight is gonna be weird on your elbows. Too bent is just gonna be kind of more of a press than a fly. 135 degrees is a real good start, but play around with it. What you wanna make sure is that the degree of bend is as stable as possible with the whole range of motion. You don't wanna do a situation where you lower the bend at the bottom. You'll notice that sometimes Tristan during this exercise, we'll start to lower the bend, but then he knows not to do that, so he'll straighten it out a little bit. Those micro corrections can be very, very important. As you go down, you wanna go super deep, retracting your shoulder blades back to expand the chest, and you want your chest to stay super up, so as you're taking your wrists and lowering them as deep as you can, you're also lifting your chest as high into the sky as you can. Very slow at the bottom. This is not an exercise in which you use a ton of weight and heave-ho. Never any fast transitions out. Go down nice and slow, pause, and then accelerate out of the bottom slowly. Let's get it done. Beautiful. Yes, good. Notice how he's pushing his chest to the ceiling as he goes down, creating a much larger range of motion and stretch for the effect. Let's go. Oh, yes. You don't have to. It's okay if you only get nine. Come on. Come on. That's good. Good stuff. So next exercise was technically a Smith machine high incline bench. We are doing same high incline, but just with a barbell. Uh, this is a fine way to swap out exercises. And if you're gonna do that on the app, basically what you're gonna do is exactly what we're doing today. We're gonna work up to a weight that was similar. As you guys know, most Smith machines are a bit easier. You can use a bit more load, and we usually count the Smith machine implement as 45 pounds anyway, just like a barbell. So we're gonna work up to a load that feels similar to the 165 that he used last week. Uh, he's going to try to either uh, rep match with probably 155 is my best bet. That's about, usually my shift is about a 10 to 20 pound shift, depending on the Smith machine to the barbell. So likely we'll work up to 155, maybe a little lighter, depending on how he feels. And we will try to uh, beat reps. I believe there's probably an added set in there as well. So this is still accumulating volume 
uh, the way you would want. So that's how you'd swap it out on the app if you don't have access to something you had access to in a previous microcycle or week. All right, let's go. I guess that Smith machine is lighter. Oh, hell yeah. Smith is way easier. No, I mean, then even than we thought. Yeah, There's... and then stability too, big factor. And you just trained chest two days ago. <laughs> the camera doesn't know that. They do now. <laughs> Feeling weak just from... Being sore. Yeah, makes sense. It's okay, it's not like chest is my weak point. <laughs> <laughs> so what Tristan is doing right now is he's um, Taking the two sets that were still on this exercise, skipping the weight or getting rid of those two sets that were at 150 and adding two down sets instead to keep them in the rep range that we're trying to keep them in. So instead of just decreasing performance, like he got eight on the first set, then he might get six, then he might get four. We're gonna take those two sets, remove them, hit the add down set feature, go to 135 and try to keep them in that 10 plus rep range. to normal benches where I gotta like slide my way all right. the way up. <laughs> all the way down. Yes. There you go. Yep. Beautiful way to push it back. One more. Control. Cool. Oh. Good stuff. Excellent. Next exercise, JM Press Style Skull Crusher, but with the twist, and the twist is a physical Super twist. Superset? Yep. To deficit push-ups, oh my God, ouch. This is gonna hurt. Tristan is gonna grab the ultra comfy handles here with an open palm grip, and he is going to go down to his neck slash face area, probably closer to the neck, and see if he can't get his neck close to touching this. Why are we doing this? because tension imposed at a deep stretch is more muscle growth promoting than tension imposed at other ranges of motion. And this level of depth is gonna be, well, cataclysmic in nature. Tragedy or triumph. Tune in next for Deficit Skull Crusher Jam Press. Elbows in? Yes. Beautiful, man. Keep it up. Oh, yeah. oh yes. <laughs> Milk that last of the eccentric. Really use that stretch. Use the fuck out of it. Good stuff now. One more. Let's get it. Elbows. Big stretch, big stretch. Use it. Go. Yes. Press, damn you. Yes. Press. Oh, yeah. Back. Walk over. <laughs> Look forward, not down. Stomach and butt up. Pause at the bottom. There you go. Drive bomb. Yep. Up and back. Boom. <laughs> Oh shit, more. Yep. <laughs> Forward. Up and back, keep that butt up. Good, Tristan. Press. <laughs> Come on. Good, one more, Tristan. Slow on the way down. Milk everything. Don't modify your technique to get this. Butt up and back. 
It's gonna be a hard lockout, man. Up and back, up and back, go. Go, oh, God, go, damn. go. Yes. Good shit, man. Mike's saying every tip that we give you is gonna make you harder, uh -huh. make you harder. That's the motivation I needed. Done three tips so far. <laughs> all right, folks. Tristan is done with all those pushing exercises. Now he's got to do a delt exercise. We are doing some free motion Y raises here, but we're going to do them reverse. You can do them one way or the other. You can do them straight on, or you can turn and do them reverse. If you have to set it up, you just grab both of them like normal, and then step over both with the leg, turn around and get going. The reverse ones are probably objectively a little superior. They're both good from a variation perspective. What you'll notice is vector-wise, there's basically no force up here, but down here, the force magnifies as the stretch is produced. So you have the highest degree of tension at the stretch, very rare shoulder exercise in which we can actually get a decent stretch on that lateral head, and then coming all the way up, you're gonna know exactly when to stop because up here it's gonna be like, oh, I could just hold this forever. And then make sure to slowly control that eccentric, give it a second at the bottom, and then come up in an athletic way. Tough exercise, make sure that you've got Versa grips or straps or chalk or something. You don't want grip holding you back on this. If you institute some kind of grip fix, whether it's chalk, straps, or Versas, and you get five or six more reps per set, that means your RIR was whatever you thought it was, plus five or six. Not very hypertrophic, so make sure your grip is sorted. Do your best job. These are a great exercise if you have a free motion machine. If you don't, you can do them on regular cables, but the free motion one allows you a lot of options. In any case, let's get it done. Come on. Slow. Another pause. Ugh. Last one, let's get it. Come on. Go! 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 <laughs> Slow. Ugh. Good pump, yeah. Yeah. I'll leave that shit on the app. Last exercise here for Tristan, the free motion curl. These are best done not facing the machine. Facing is a fine option. If you face away from the machine, most of the tension is imposed at a deep stretch, which is excellent for muscle growth. Another thing is this. If you're really close to the machine and the, the handles are here, I mean, it's really just like a normal curl. You wanna walk a few steps forward so you really stretch back here, come up to here. You don't have to come all the way up to here. There's not much utility there. So here you just come up here, control, big stretch at the bottom and come back up. These are great for my rep matching. They're great for my reps because all you do is back up. You can even let go of the handles, but if not, you just drop your knees a little bit, drop into this position, unload the handles, wait five or six seconds, come back up, crank up more reps. Beautiful. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go! Oh, finish. Slow. Beautiful. Tristan, how'd that workout feel? Great, but as great as a workout can feel with you guys. Very pain, that's just painful. That pain is the word. The kind of great you pay a dominatrix for and are ashamed of, but you still show up every Thursday night. <laughs> you don't know nothing about that, you little young TikTok and ass. Just an In innocent 16 year old. Kid. Innocent 14 and a half year old okay. Tristan Lee, hypertrophy app user, app hypertrophy user. app addict. Yep. Hypertrophy app rehab failed. He's back <laughs> on the streets. Jared, I just described your extended family and 
replace hypertrophy app with every drug known to me. Yeah. What do you think about your client? How do you do? Uh, he usually sets the standard. We get to train together a lot in uh, the dragon layer and everything like that. And I'm always just like making sure my fucking technique's up to par. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's awesome to train with people like that. Thank you. So awesome because then everyone's doing better for themselves. Yeah. What I meant to say was he fully replaced you in every measurable way possible, including how intelligent he Emotionally. Is. Yeah, definitely emotionally. That's the most important thing. Yeah, absolutely. He may be your new best friend. He'll never be your literal biological father <laughs> like I am. I raised you. I gave birth to you. You came right out of my piss hole. Folks, what the hell am I talking about? Go scoot down into the description, download you the RPI Hypertrophy app. And uh, Mr. Tristan, do you have a code for that sort of thing? I do. I believe it's Lee. Simple. Three, three letters. Whoa. Not bad. Use that shit. Thank you. It'll get you actually a really huge chunk off of the month or the year. And uh, it'll be nice. Tristan will get a little money in his pocket. Go buy himself some more young LA t-shirts. And uh, Jared will uh, wear them. Wear them. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Long shot. They need to make a Cameron Smith. Smith. Yeah. The closest We've, thing they have to that is the Panada dual handle. It's not Smith. pronounced Panada. What, what is it? It's Panada. Okay, so it's Panada. <laughs> no, you say it the wrong, a, a, a ragu. All right, Mario. Dude, I want, I want to go to a rap battle, but like, as soon as they start rapping, I'm like, what the fuck did you say to me? They're like, oh, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I thought we was rapping. I'm, I'm sure fights break out of those. They, they do all the time. Yeah. I would, that was the part I'm there for. I mean, it's like, what even does that mean? I mean, like, if you're gonna wear Young LA, you're not from LA, and I mean, forgive me, I'm sorry, but you're, you're not that young? <laughs> I mean, what even, what even are you? Doing? You sound like a leprechaun, man. Like, uh. <laughs> Wait, what even is a leprechaun? In the Bible, it states very clearly. <laughs> uh. Jordan, you're the man. Oh boy. It's a me, a panata. <laughs> yes. It's named after you. Yes. <laughs> I'm a, a how you say, a from Italia. Italians. Y'all are cool. You'll take jokes really well. We good. Actually, if Italians don't take jokes well, it's hilarious. When they don't. It's like, eh, hey, Dr. Mike. I don't sound like why that. You, uh, <laughs> how you say it? Uh, I make a fun of us. I'm like, <laughs> just keep saying that shit. I love it. <laughs> Stomach and butt backing up. Now you know, going bust up. I'm here with Jay Fev. He's the man. He knows <laughs> Bev beverages that he's drinking. About Jared got me thinking. White shirt on fleek. Young LA, that freak. Oh, damn. damn. Lost Sorry, brand deal. LA. Lost the brand deals. Sorry, we just watched uh, 8 Mile. <laughs> Who watches the outros anyway?